I can tell you firsthand, obviously, that healing is not linear by any stretch of the imagination. It is a roller coaster. It is some days you're great and other days you're awful. Hello, my beautiful friends. What is up? How are you? I hope you guys are having the most amazing day today. Um, if you've been here before, it's nice to see you again. If you haven't been here before, hey, what's up? My name's Stephanie, and I'm so happy that you've stopped by today. Just a quick little disclaimer, my neighbor is mowing their lawn, so if that picks up on camera, I really apologize. I had the urge to film this video now, so... I think that I'm just going to jump right in. I don't have any notes or anything, so it's just kind of me bearing my heart. Um, if you're new here, I am not so subtly on a healing journey, and the past couple of weeks have been really hard for me. I really try to process my trauma and do things very positively, and I really try to see the good and the lessons and everything, especially when it comes to healing, just because there is so much to be proud of, even if you just choose to take the step to try to heal yourself and heal the things you've gone through. With that being said, nobody really talks about how hard it is to continue to push yourself into these little nooks and crannies of your brain and really dissect why you are the way you are and how your past experiences affect who you are as a person and why you act the way you do and why certain things trigger you. And it is a very intense and isolating experience at times and nobody really talks about it. We all talk about how great the glow up is and how much better you'll feel when you're aligned and awakened and but sometimes it can get really dark and it's very draining and exhausting and I don't want to say that it's not rewarding because it definitely is it's just it's like a different kind of self-pressure you know it's like you get to one thing and then seven more things pop up and something triggered me today and I, I like I knew it was there like I knew the pattern was there, I knew the cycle existed, but I honestly thought that I had worked through it enough to get past it. Obviously not, but I don't want to sit here and make you guys feel sorry for me, that's not what this video is about, but I kind of just wanted to be a figure of hope for you if you're going through your healing journey and things have gotten dark and scary. Um, because you're so much stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so much stronger than I'll ever know. And although like it is so emotionally and physically draining and I'm sure you could hear in my voice that I'm still a little bit emotional about everything going on and all the stuff I'm working through right now, but it's 120% worth it. I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't give it up. I'm so grateful that I'm able to sit here and talk about this and be so open and honest about the fact that it's not always easy and it's not always a highlight reel. But I can also sit here and really dwell in my self-awareness of the fact of like I've come so far from where I was when I started and like even having the ability to be self-aware about the things I'm feeling and not judge myself for them, to really honor myself and accept where I am and just say, hey, like, you're good, you've got this. Learning how to self-soothe my inner child is really important too, and I had to do a lot of that today. And I know that we, when we start this, we just want to get it all over with, and we want the healing to just happen, and it's not like that. Um, I can tell you firsthand, obviously, that healing is not linear by any means by any stretch of the imagination. It is a roller coaster. It is some days you're great and other days you're awful. But you're so much stronger than you think you are because like even taking the step to go on this healing journey is so incredible and for that I'm so proud of you. And if, like I said, if things are dark and scary for you right now, please know that I am thinking of you and I am in your corner 
and I really believe in you and I really trust that you are going to be where you need to be. We came to this planet <sighs> agreeing to learn lessons and experience life and live our life through love and joy and although most of the time I do try to do that, there have been things in my past that come up and there are things they need to work with and there's things in which my boundaries have been abused or obliterated and I do need to work with myself on that and really taking the time to sit with myself is so is something that I'm so proud of because it takes bravery and I'll say that for myself and I'll say that for you healing isn't easy and I'm so so proud of you trust that like if you're on your healing journey and it's not linear and you're like everybody else looks like they're having a great time and they're just glowing up and they're just feeling better about themselves and their life is just getting so much magically better just remember that the majority of the time what people post and the things you see online it's all a highlight reel and i don't want my channel to be that i'm going to be honest when i'm struggling and when things are hard and i'm going to be upfront with you about that because this is what real life is this is what working on yourself is this is what showing up for yourself looks like even in the hard moments like i don't like talking about the fact that i'm uncomfortable and i'm upset and i'm triggered like i don't love that but I'll do it anyway because you're not alone. And if you're feeling like that, trust me, I am too, obviously. But let alone this week has been so tricky for a lot of us. And I'm so proud of you for making it through it and pushing through. So don't be so hard on yourself. Healing is a forever thing. It's not just going to be done one day. We are always going to have stuff that we need to work through and that doesn't mean you're weak and that doesn't mean that you can't handle life. That means that you're human and you have a pure heart and you don't bottle up your emotions and you allow yourself to feel things and that is beautiful and that is one of the strongest things you could ever do in a world where we're taught that emotion is weakness. So be kind to yourself honor yourself. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know that it was a little bit heavy this week, but with that being said, I do talk about a lot of spirituality. I talk about health in all ways on this channel, so if you would like to subscribe and hang out with us again, I would love to see you. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much, and if this was your first time and last time seeing me, I just wish you the most health and happiness, and yeah, I love you guys. Thank you. I'll see you next week.